Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Fallout 2. I'm trying to get my uh, companions in here a little bit, but uh, they don't seem to want to. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see what happens. Okay, I have opened this, so I do get the uh, first shot. Quickly hitting a forceful blow, 21 and 11. Let's move out of the way a little bit. Missed. I got hit. Uh, nope, miss. Miss. Yeah, 32 hit points. Ow. We be here to dance. Okay, he is dead. Don't be punching. Ow. Yeah. And there I go dying again. Yep. All right. Cassidy was hit for 51 hit points that time. The darkness of the All right. One more time. If this still doesn't work, then we'll probably have to wait until later. Uh, FN Fall. I'm not sure what an FN Fall is. Also have an FN Fall. 10 millimeter pistol. Alright, I'm not worried about you then. You have an FN Fall. Okay, so it seems like the FN Falls can do the, uh, really annoying, nasty auto shot. We can't slow, I see. Missed with both. Twenty-three hit points. Three. Oh, you better not be blocking Cassidy. Twenty-six. Well, you're not blocking Cassidy, at least. Zulik was hit for six. And 63 uses healing powder. We be watching you go down. 20 hit points. I'm gonna die. You want some of this? You want some of this? Yep. Yeah. All right. You have perished. Okay. I can't do this yet. It's good to know. Maybe it's because I waited all that time outside. Well, you know what? Now that I've reloaded it, let me make one more attempt. Up on any explosives, please, guys. Come on in. Nope. All right, fine. Five fifty one. Ten 
Dang it. You're gonna be a long time dying. Well, that's really awful for me. Ow, 41 hit points. There's nine hit points. Feel the burn. Nice. Sulco's hit for 28. Rock and roll. Use your SMG for crying out loud. Okay, getting some misses. That's good. And Sulik was killed for 83. Well, we're not keeping this, that's for sure. But let's see if I can actually, uh... Go for the groin! Or not. Go for the groin! Oh! Merc Raider was critically hit in the groin for 81 hit points, and without protection, he falls over, moaning in agony. Oh yeah, I think he's moaning in agony there. Alright, well... If I don't die here, I mean, if I don't, uh, if I can get some of these people killed... There we go. Critically hit him for 87 hit points with no armor, knocking the combatant to the ground. Merc Raider was killed. Okay, so we got one out of the way. There's five hit points of damage. Jeez. Sulik. Lay down some suppressing fire. Keep their heads down. Yeah, if only that were possible to... I mean, Sulik is using armor, right? 62 hit points. Ow. And there I go, getting killed. Yep. Alright. We are not ready for this. Alright, guys. Sulik. What are you using? Leather armor mark two. Yep. Yeah, all right. So I need I need better armor for everyone. How did he get killed taking? How is he at one ninety? Oh no! Oh, I'm looking at at carrying capacity, not hit points. Oh, that's dumb. Was I doing that for everyone? I was doing that for everyone, wasn't I? 80 out of 80. Yeah, I was doing that for everyone. I'm dumb. 78 out of 78. Okay. That's fine. Uh, visiting the den might still be a good idea, um, because they're definitely easier than those guys, those raiders. Uh, uh, a caravan. Anything in the pot? No. Anything in this other pot? Yeah, I'll take those knives.
Scarred Traveler wielding a minigun with 120 shots of 5mm jacket hollow point. Hi. I've heard good things about a person fitting your description. I guess it would be alright to trade some of our cargo to you. Here's what I got. Alright, let's barter. Not that I have a whole lot to trade. Um, uranium ore? Which is apparently worthless. You don't really have a whole lot, but, uh... I did just pick some of these up. Oh. Um... How much for one of those? Phew. <laughs> hmm. 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 Eh, it's not worth it. Maybe there'll be some other little things in some of these. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Those pot. Nothing. I haven't checked out that thing yet. There's nothing on the uh, map. Like, just laying on the ground. Okay. Jeez. Five guys with miniguns. Let's go ahead and quick save. And pulling out the gun again. Let's keep going. Didn't have anything that I really wanted. Alright, Broken Hills. Whoops, nope, get in. Broken Hills is a mining town, mostly uranium ore. Eh, it can be a rough place, so watch yourself. What you be needing? Uh, what do the spirits, spirits be willing to talk? Tell you what you want. The wind moves to secret places. Okay, thank you. That doesn't really help me much. Smiling man dressed in leather armor. Put your weapons away, partner. You won't get any answers from me while you're waving them around like that. All right, all right. How's that? I have put my weapon away. Fine. There's a general store there. They have working uh, computers and what looks like a generator of some kind. Hello. What do you want? Uh, who are you? Me, I'm Brian. I work the generator that powers this place. I see, that's very interesting. It must be rewarding work. Well, no, it's not. Not really. Mostly I just sit here and make some, make sure none of the dials slip out. I make some minor adjustments, I flip some switches. That's about all. Anyone could do it. Anyone, eh? I have other questions. Uh, what is this place? This place is a power station for Broken Hills. What I do is essentially a maintenance job on the place. Make sure it keeps running. It's pretty damn functional, though. Powered by uranium slugs. Uranium slugs? Well, with the uranium mine right here, and with atomic power being the power of the future, it seems only right that we keep up with the times. We might be small, but we're progressive. Hmm, right. Alright, I have some other questions. Ever hear of a Gek? A Gek? Never heard of it. I'd imagine no one else here has, either. Sounds like an animal or something that has nasty claws, though. Uh, no, not really. You have anything to barter? You do. That is going to be a lot that I am not going to be able to afford. What I can afford, though, is... That. 
Okay, that's a good trade. All right, goodbye. All right, not much else in this building to take a look at. This place is in uh, pretty good shape, really. General store. The windows are boarded up here, though. Hello? Hi, I'm Liz. What do you want? Uh, what can you tell me about this town? It's a boring little mining town filled with all sorts of undesirables. You want a guy to talk to her? Talk to Steve or someone. Wow, crabby one. Alright, bye. Now what? Well, I'd like to buy something. You want to buy something? Fine. This is what I got. Two sets of metal armor. Vault 13 water flasks. Two stim packs. I would not mind those. And I will take that. All right, thanks. See ya. Hey, get away from there. Sorry. Just let me uh, check out your room back here. Nothing there. Wooden brace. Is that a... Yeah, that's a manhole. Let's go down. See what what we've got down here. Um, can I go down? I'm not gonna warn you again. Stay away from there. Oh. Okay, guys, come on in. I want to close the door. That's it. Get over here. How did she know? Okay, so I can't do it while she's here, apparently. All right, fine, lady. Hello? Short, spry gentleman. Hey there, friend. Haven't seen any jewels or precious metals lying around anywhere, have you? Uh, no, not today. If I run across any, I'll let you know, though. Uh, what's your name? Me, I'm Mickey. Suave and debonair treasure hunter in Broken Hills. A treasure hunter? Don't tell me you haven't heard of me. You never been told of the tales of the fast, of the fast Mickey? Of his running gun battles, two-fisted action, and pernicious plunderings? I'm afraid I've never had the pleasure. Well, you're missing out, friend. One of these days, I'll have to fill you in on the gory details. I'll be waited, waiting with bated breath. So, any riches you need tracked down? I'm the best of the best. Uh, no, not today. If I run across any, I'll let you know, though. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. The market for treasure hunters has really dropped in recent years. The whole death and famine and fight for survival thing really hurts people's sense of adventure. Keep me in mind, if though, if anything comes up. You'll be the first on my list. After I check to see if you have anything to barter. Alright, not much. Actually, some of you guys do have some things that I could barter off. Not you. I don't know if that lighter is going to be useful for anything, but... I might want to keep it. Yes, two of these, all of these. I can't carry that right now. All 
All right, I do have some things to uh, sell you. All right, so that's 1,000. That's not going to be enough for one of these. Not by a long shot. That is enough for those. All right, what can I uh, not sell? To get this a little bit closer. Nope, need ten more. All right, that'll work. I'll have to look for other people. Cassidy, you have some things that I want to sell. Well, just one, really. All right, you can hold on to the other one for now. We have down here some Brahmin. Nothing much else, it looks like. Can we open the store? Hello. I swear, if the bandits get any worse, we'll all die in the next year. Person carrying a powerful weapon. What Podunk village are you from? I guess these are all caravan guards or something. Looks like a Brahmin stable or something like that. Hello! Medium-sized man wearing dusty clothing. Howdy, pard. What can I do for you? Um, I need to buy some stuff. Yeah, what do you want to buy? He's got weapons. I suppose I could buy all of his ammo. Forty. Nah, I won't. <coughs> oh, pardon me. It is a fair bit of ammo, but uh, what if I sell you these? Then I can get some of your caps. Two forty. There we go. Alright. Nice dealing with you. You want anything more for me? Yes. Uh, I'm looking for a job. You want a job? Well, you got we got two choices. Shoveling Brahmin dung for a day for $100, or you can escort one of our caravans for $200. We got caravans to Gecko, the New California Republic, and Vault City. I'll shovel the crap for a while. Um, eh, just buy for now. Uh, I might help out with the caravan to NCR since I need to go down there anyway. You guys gonna get pissy if I check this stuff? No, not really. Hmm. 
These look like they're just... Yeah, it's just a table. Alright, what about this guy in blue pants? Howdy, friend! What can I do for you? Uh, who are you? I'm Chad. Uh, I'd like to get a job with you. Talk to Bill, he'll help you out. Alright, I have some more questions. More questions? I'll see what I can do for answers. Well, tell me about this place. Tell you about Broken Hills? Well, I moved out here a few years back. I got a job with the Bill. The Bill? That's the outfitter. And moved, uh, moved up to where I am now. I report to Marcus and the Bill. But I'm responsible for the livelihood of the town. Well, I have some more questions. Um, you have anything that you want to barter? You have two uh, stim packs. That's not going to cover that. Uh, I suppose I could take ammo. Might be worth it for stim packs. How much is that? That is, uh... That is worth more than the hunting rifle. It's five less. I'll just offer it. That's fine. Alright, that looks like that's about all we can do here, but uh, like I said, I think that uh, we will be doing the uh, caravan at some point. Let me go ahead and give you all of that ammo, since I don't need it anymore. That is it for now. This is a very nice looking town, though. <coughs> Nothing on that bookcase. Nothing on that bookcase. Nothing on that bookcase. Oh, these are all connected. Hello? You have a computer in here. Hi there, I'm Doc Holliday. How can I help you? Um... What do you do here? What do I do here? You're in a hospital. I'm wearing a doctor's coat. I'm covered in blood. There are sharp pointy things lying all around. Either I'm a successful killer or a fair doctor. Take your pick. Don't get smart with me. A really good doctor wouldn't be getting blood all over himself. Stripling, you have a lot to learn about respect. Yeah, alright. Now what do you want? What do you do here? Uh, I guess I can call you a doctor. That's right, I'm a doctor. Good to see the, that intelligence is alive and well in the post-nuclear world. <laughs> and it's kicking around inside the body of a 70-year-old man. You can see a glint of laughter in his eyes behind his glasses. Don't see it too many other places these days. Young of the world, for example. Are the reposita repository of what our elders once knew. And what we refuse to tell you, little bastards, he bursts out laughing. Kid, the next time you need to see me for some medical help, it's on the house. Sweet. I had some other questions. Uh, tell me about the town. Well, let's see. I was born here years ago. Place was just getting started. I picked up when I was a teen and tooled around tooled around the place for a while. Met a woman, fell in love, she died of sickness. I decided then that I was going to become a doctor. Eh? Go on. So then I traveled to San Francisco and studied under the Chinese there. An old gentleman by the name of Mr. Fung taught me everything I know about medicine. Uh, he also taught me some wisdom. Well, so what happened then? Well, then I came back here and watched Marcus build the town from the shanties I remember from my youth into the sprawling metropolis you see before you. Saw people attracted by promises of wealth. I saw people grow up and die. I saw the currents of history. So that means... That means that I don't know most of the new people these days. Most of my memories are just that. Memories. You jerk, you made me wait that long for nothing. Oh, oh well, thanks for the story. No, oh, thank you for listening to me ramble. Next time you're here and need healing, it's on the house. Thanks. So, anyway. Uh, any gossip? 
Uh, you'd be surprised what people say when they're in pain. This is going to lead to a, oh my god, it hurts kind of thing, isn't it? Oh yeah, like what? Surprisingly little. <laughs> Sorry, but when I'm concentrated on healing someone, I don't usually pay attention to their innermost secrets. Ah, oh, uh, fair point. Will you answer more questions? Um, can you sell me some stim packs? What do you got? Alright, ooh, super stim pack. And a first aid book. How much do you want for the first aid book? Not that much. Right, I already sold off the gun. Whoops. Alright, well, we, uh, we know where we're going to buy stuff next time we have some spare items, don't we? How much is that? That's 826. I think Super Stim Packs, they'll heal a lot, but they also have a... they can be addictive or something like that. I can't remember. You want to avoid using them, except in dire situations. I think. There's lots of lights there. But it is about time to uh, end the episode. Uh, when we come back next time, we've got a lot of buildings to investigate here. Uh, we also have some footlockers up there. Huh. We'll see if we can get to those. Um next time. Anyway, for now, I'll call it an episode. See you then, everyone.